Welcome today to our lecture divina on our sixth, sixteenth Sunday in ordinary time, year B. As always, we sit back, relax, close our eyes, prepare to come to inner silence. Clear our minds, aware of our breathing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told them all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going and many could guess where, and from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he sent himself to teach them at some length. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told them all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. The people saw them going and many could guess where. And from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he said himself to teach them at some length. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told them all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going, but the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going, and many could guess where, and from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he sent himself to teach them at some length. The disciples rejoined Jesus and told them all they had done and taught. If you remember last week, Jesus sent the apostles out to preach in his name, to cast out devils, to anoint and heal the sick. And now they return and they tell Jesus all that they have done through his power. So those who trust God, those who are open, cooperate with God, are able to do great things as the apostles have achieved in their time away. They are amazed and delighted. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. So Jesus knows that they will be tired, exhausted after all their exploits. And so he, he, he recognises their need of rest, a bit of time to be quiet, to relax, to reflect even on what has taken place, what God has done through them. And so the importance of taking time away. In my own life do I do that? Is, for there were so many. So then he said, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going 
that the apostles had no time even to eat. So again we see how popular Jesus is. The crowds are massive, constant all the time. And the apostles, even after this time of ministry, are, are, are busy even when they return. So Jesus wants to protect them. So Jesus knows our limits. Doesn't push us beyond what we can do. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. So Jesus heads to a place where very few people live. To give the apostles a little bit of time to relax, to reflect, to pray, to rest. Again, reminding us that we need to seek that time too to be with the Lord. Times is to recharge our batteries spiritually and physically, mentally. And also to allow other people to do the same. But people saw them going, and many could guess where. And from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before him. So Jesus is so popular that people feel this desperate need to be in his company, what they believe they can gain from being close to him. And so when Jesus goes off to the lonely place, they work out where he's going to, they see where the boat is going, and amazingly they arrive there even before he does. They are searching him out, they are desperate. Do I search Jesus out? Do I recognise my need of him? So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd. So the people are already there. A large crowd, not just a few. But many people had travelled a great distance, a great effort to be there, to see Jesus, to listen to Jesus, to be in his company. But Jesus knows how tired the apostles are. And so is he angry? Is he resentful? Does he head off somewhere else? He took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus is full of compassion. If a sheep has not a shepherd to look after it, it will die. No one to protect it from the wolf, no one to lead it to pasture, no one to lead it to water, no one to keep it safe. So the sheep depends on listening and following the shepherd. But we hear them described as being like sheep without a shepherd. In the Old Testament, this is a common image. The people of Israel are like sheep without a shepherd. They need spiritual guidance. They need spiritual leadership. And God has promised that he will provide it through his Messiah. He took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set himself to teach them at some length. So Jesus doesn't abandon them, he doesn't get angry, he recognises that they need him. And so he gives them what they need. He shares with them, proclaims to them the good news, God's word. We look in so many different places for satisfaction, for happiness. But only the Lord can fully satisfy us. Do I believe that? Is my life rooted in that truth?
to the end again, let us open up our hearts to the Lord and is there anything, any message, any words, feelings, thoughts that have particularly struck me or I've noticed repeating themselves over the last number of weeks and months? Is the Lord trying to tell me something? Pray together in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.